Hearty welcome to all of you. Now we are discussing about scientific research paper and its contents. What shall be there in that research paper? First of all, let us discuss the scientific research paper here. It is an experimental investigation report which contains starting from the background to the methodologies to the investigation and analysis to the summary and conclusion. This is about a simple line about scientific research paper. Now coming to the contents of scientific research paper, very first content is the abstract as usual. Abstract is the very first content, but here the abstract shall be taken care while writing like one line for the background, one line for the previous works, one line for the existing methodologies, one line for the proposed methodology, one line about the implementation, one line about the expected outcomes like that you had prepared the abstract while coming to the scientific research paper. Even the implementation also can be mentioned in a concise summary wise in the abstract. And next coming towards the background, it might be a literature survey or it might be like introduction, like we can discuss about the application in this one, as well as we can discuss about the methods that are going to be used as well as algorithms, but in a nutshell, means step by step, like para by para, we have to discuss about these background points. Later, we have to go through the related work. Here, related work means not literature survey, related work means we have to find out what is the gap, research gap that have been identified and we have put down the objectives for the related work. Means we have identified the gaps and we have written them, those identity gaps in the form of the objectives that we are going to fulfill these gaps during our research work as well as during our research article. We will go through the experimental investigations and report those points. That is how related work works here. Now coming to the methodology. Here methodology means it can be methodologies also. It can be existing methodology or proposed methodology, previous methods as well as proposed one here. This might contain an algorithm we can call in the programming language as pseudocode or pseudo algorithm, as well as we can have some process flow. In simple words, we can call it as a black diagram. Like this, methodology can be written in the form of, even in the form of the flow chart also. Once we write about methodologies, it can be written as a testing one or a training one or a modified testing algorithm. Like that, we can mention so many points in the methodologies. Once methodology is over, we move towards implementation work. It is a very sudden step after methodology. In implementation work, we discuss about what were the materials that have been used, what were the equipments that have been used here, and how, it ha how they have been used, and what type of version of the software or the tool has been used in the work. These things we will put down along with the specification that has been utilized during this research work or scientific research work. Next, the important heart of the scientific research paper, research paper is that results are experimental investigations. And when we do these experimental investigations, we carry with respect to some sort of data set. It might be a public data set or a data set we have taken from the private laboratories or private people like population engineering. And while doing the experimental investigations, I have to keep in mind the analysis must be in two parts. That is subjective as well as objective. Here subjective means descriptive form of explanation, whereas objective means we discuss those things in the form of statistical analysis, means parametric wise, means in, in other words, we call it features, attributes. So many names can be given, but simple words you have to keep in remember is subjective analysis and the objective analysis must be there in the experimental investigations once we get the final results. Our first stage results also can be prepared in a scientific research paper. After going through results and all those things, those results might be any pictures or any, uh, what do you call, waveforms, or depending upon the type of the application or research work we are doing. It might have tabular columns, it might have the graphical representations in the experimental investigations. 
next coming to the part summary and conclusion summary here explains about the discussion about like work what we have done what has what has been the background of the work how we have taken the methodology and how that methodology has been computed com uh, connected towards the implementation procedure that is process flow next what we have done by means of experimentation all these things can be written put down in the summary and conclusion is called as the final bracket some sometimes in some other papers will be having summary and conclusion or simply we can have the conclusion as also the last stage in the scientific research paper while writing the conclusion we have to keep it in mind that whatever we have taken in the abstract those points have been discussed and they have been put down in the conclusion as the end points and they have been achieved together with the help of the methodologies and implementation work this is how the components of scientific research paper are identified and implemented to write a scientific research paper i hope this video has helped you to understand what are the contents of the scientific research paper and how, what are the key points we have to keep it in mind while framing a research paper which is always which is a scientific here i hope you have liked this video kindly like watch share our videos and subscribe our videos